hey guys welcome back to another video um so today i went to get my nails done this guy blessed 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 oh my god he went in like he took his time and he did an amazing job like men do know how to do nails just give them a chance um he did my nails my tips and coffin this is the first time me getting tips in so long and he did y'all he did my feet like oh my gosh like he put love into it you see how he's like oh my god like you know what i'm saying like he he really took his time after i get my nails done i decided to go to barometer because i've been hearing a lot of good reviews about this place so i wanted to try it for myself So guys, I just had the lamb. Um, y'all, it was that lamb chop thing. It was no, it was no, it was gross. I sent it back. So I always hear people come here and they talk about the pizza. So I'm gonna try the pizza. And this is the burger that I'm eating. It's a veggie burger. Should have came out right, right? It wasn't good. So I just ordered a um a veggie pizza instead. I don't know. People always brag about this place, but I'm like, I don't see what there's to brag about. I guess the view is nice. It's it's beautiful. We were outside we're on a rooftop. I mean that's a plus, but like good food is hard to find. Hard to find. <laughs> but um, yeah. I'm just here. I think the best thing was the fries. That's why they're gone. But the burger is just like. It's just mush inside like i don't know how to describe it so i wanted to do like a series for you guys like interview not interviewing rating restaurants and bar right now i mean let's see the pizza because people always buy what the pizza so let's see how the pizza comes out and i will let you guys know once it gets here but so far the burger not a fan not a fan and those lamb chops the lamb skewers it wasn't skewers it was literally minced meat and it was not good at all like it's the thought of it if i think about it too much i would throw up so <laughs> yeah i'm just i'm just real like i'm not gonna sugarcoat stuff and make it like oh yummy oh my god so good and then you guys come here and you guys get mad at me so i'm being honest it wasn't good so but I like the music. They have some reggae. We love reggae. Alright, I shot a pizza.
No. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. Yeah. So then the guy was like, oh, how can you speak Swahili fluently? And I was like, you know, telling him, like, I'm learning. And he was like, oh, my friend is from Kenya and he speaks Swahili fluently. And I'm like, boy, this is my response. <laughs> No, I'm. Where is it from? Nairobi. Nairobi. Oh, but they speak Swahili there. They speak Swahili. But Kenya speaks Swahili. So he should speak Swahili. I've been learning slowly. Kidogo. Yeah. Um. Hold on. What's your name? Hmm? No. What about you? What's your name? Silva. Silva? Silva, no Silva. Huh? Robert. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yo, guys. So I just got home. You guys saw like what I do in a day, like my little beauty pamper, stuff like that. Um, let me put on some light so you guys can see me better. Okay. Oh, is that too much? Okay. So yeah, I just got home from Barometer. I tried Barometer food. And what do I rate it? I'm gonna rate it like a I don't even know like uh i would say like a like a one out of ten like the ambiance is the reason why i'm rating it a one because it was beautiful in there but everything else it was just oh my god the food was bad i ordered that pizza that pizza wasn't even good it was better than the burger and better than that that lamb thing but it was just it was just nasty like i tried to do taste testing for you guys and like try different stuff so you guys can say oh you gotta try this you gotta try this you missed this you got the right wrong thing i tried y'all the food was just not hitting like i wouldn't even recommend to go there at all so that one we're crossing off the list um but yeah like right now um i'm just gonna chill a little bit but I did get, while I was getting my hair done, homie with that bag. Sure, he came, like, usually when you're getting your hair done in um, Tanzania, there's these guys that come along and they have suitcases full of stuff where they sell. Just like how when you're in a beauty salon in New York and you see the guys come in and back in the days they used to be selling DVDs and stuff like that. Same thing. So there's guy came in and he was selling like a whole bunch of products and hair products and stuff so let me show you guys what i got so i got some waist beads these are the colors i got this is like one of my favorite colors the blue and oh this is my nails guys you see i got like a nude pink and i got my toes done and they're like a nude pink too and then he gave me this bag this is like typical bags in tanzania we love it Okay, and then I got a claw butterfly clip. People call it a butterfly clip. I call it a claw clip. Clip a claw clip. Um, and I also got like, this headband. So this one was one thousand. This one was like I think it was like two thousand. I know it shouldn't have been this price, but it's whatever. And then these beads, both of them were seven thousand. So in total, I paid ten thousand for everything. Um, yeah. And then my nails were fifteen thousand for my hands and my feet. Um, gel nail polish, fifteen k. That's about like like six dollars, something like that, for my hands and my feet gel and my and my braids Ooh, let me put the light and my braids my braids were like 
there were 28,000. Only, it was supposed to be 25,000. But it was only 28,000 because I got some food. So my braids were actually 25,000. And I just ordered like some food, some rice and beans while I was there getting my braids. And so in total, it was 28,000. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was like a little, you know, what I do in a day slash restaurant review, you know. Let me know if you guys have been a barometer. Tell me guys what you think about their place. I wasn't feeling their food. They won't see me again. And I'm pretty sure they don't want to because I sent back the food that I didn't like. It was just nasty. Like the thought of what I ate. Oh my God. I don't even want to think about it. It was gross. It was just gross. So, yeah. So far, the uh, I can make a video about... The, the restaurants that I actually do like in Dar es Salaam. So if you guys want me to make a video about that, then I can make a video about the places that I usually order food from. And you guys are not, no, I'm not putting you on to no nasty stuff. I'm putting you on to good quality, like 10 out of 10 flavor, like how we Caribbean people season our food and uh, we Latino. People season our food. Yeah. So, comment down below if you guys want that. Let me know. Let me know. And let me know if you guys like today's vlog, you know? I can do more of these. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.